G'day and welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today's Monday, the 16th of March 2020, and today we've got to fix fences. I'm not sure how much fence we've got on the property in kilometres, but it's quite a fair bit. And there always seems to be some fencing that needs fixing. So we haven't done any for a while and some of the fences are in a bit of poor state. So this week we're going to be fixing up fences and I've got to install a couple of bits of new electric fence. And I'll take you along for the ride and show you what we're going to do. I'd just like to assure people that you can't catch coronavirus from watching my videos. For your safety and mine, I'm wearing protection. So I'd like you to just settle back and relax, don't worry about coronavirus and enjoy this video. So here's the first bit of fence. You can see it's all broken. It's only a little panel. And uh, I'm not sure what happened, but it was all right. It was rusty, but it was all right. But this week it's all fallen to bits. I don't know whether something went through it or what happened. Anyway, we'll get on and see what we're going to do to fix it. Before we start, we have to just cut the old fence off, get it out of the road, and we'll take that and put it in the rubbish. <clears throat> First thing we've got to do is tie the wire onto the post one end, and then we'll pull it up tight with the strainers on the other. I'm just trying to... I didn't bring gloves with me and I don't wear gloves a lot fencing I probably should but I'm I find it very difficult to um, feel what's going on with gloves anyway <clears throat> make the best of it but I have got me coronavirus protection so that's the main thing <clears throat> Okay, so we just tie the wire onto the post and then we'll go up the other end and put the wire strainers on and strain it up. Okay, so now the wire's tight. Now what we have to do is tie it off. Here I'm just forming a loop in the end of the barbed wire so that I can tie it off on the strainer wire which is the plain piece of wire that the strainers are hooked to. Okay, so now the wire's all tight, right along, time for the next wire. Okay, this is the last wire that we have to tie, the last tie, and I'll just show you how these things actually work. You put them on like so, then on this end, you hook the other end on, you put the chain in the thing that looks like the end of a claw hammer, and then you, you do this and that tightens up the wire Go along. Okay. Right up here. then we have to find the length put a kink in the wire so we know where cut off some spare to tie the knot Watch out the wire don't get you. Okay, so now we have to tie a knot in the end of the wire to tie the end off. You'll notice in this shot that my protection's missing. It's not gone, it's in my pocket. 
I just had to put the tail in because it was getting in the road. Oh, it's all right. It's in my pocket. We're safe. It was getting in the road. It was fucking hell. Okay, so we tied the knot. We now put it down on here. Tie the knot on the other side of the strainers. And we can take the strainers off. Okay, now your fence is nice and tight, and we've finished the panel of fencing. Okay, just take a picture of the panel of fencing slowly. Slowly, don't go too fast. The only thing left to do now is put the ties on the star picket in the middle. You'll notice that all the ties hang straight down the tails of them and the reason we do that is just for neatness it doesn't really matter but uh, just to take a bit of pride in our work we always face those down and the other thing is I suppose at least they won't poke a calf or a cow in the eye. We're now going to pull down this electric fence and put it back up where I want to keep the cattle out of our new grass that I've planted. Pat's winding up the tape and the cattle think they're helping or something, I don't know what they think. There was none here when we came, now they're everywhere. They must want company. I got in the car to move it and I think these cows thought they might come with me. They're nosy bloody things. Look at this one. So oh, can I get in here? Pat's putting out the tape for the electric fence. We're just going to run it across the paddock and Unfortunately the cattle have been getting in the road a little bit so we'll have to watch that a bit. Okay, all we have to do now is fit the energizer onto the pole for the sun. This one's the earth wire, it gets hooked up to the post in the ground. This one will hook up to the live wire when I get the cattle out of the paddock, they've all followed us in there. Well, it's Tuesday now and we're getting on to the last of the urgent fencing jobs. You can see here this panel's all on the ground. A fence post broke off a while ago and I strained the wires up but the cattle have pushed it over so I'll put more posts in and fix it up. The first thing we'll do is get rid of some of this lantana out of the road. It's a real problem. Makes it pretty unpleasant to try and fix the fence so I'll get rid of that first. If I haven't cut it all, I'll cut the rest in a second. 
we've taken all the lantana off the fence where we want to fix it and we'll be able to fix it up good enough to keep the cattle out but it's going to need far more work we're going to have to actually bring some machinery over and put a new headworks in and a new gateway and all sorts of stuff is a fair, fairly big job I didn't realize it was so bad but we can fix it up temporary for now to hold it to keep the cattle out and then we're going to have to come back at a later date and do a proper job when we've got a bit more manpower and a lot more machinery and gear well we've got the panel of fence put back up it's not the best but it'll keep the cattle in until I can fix the whole thing properly we'll drive down along the fence now and check God, this lantern is disgraceful. I'll have to think up some excuse why I haven't done it. It's bloody awful. This is a different situation. When you've got a fence that's got a, stri a stretch in the middle of it like this, what you can do is put these on and that tightens it up. And then you get a piece of plain wire and you can fix it up with it and make it tight again so you don't have to cut the fence and use the other strainers. It's a lot quicker. up here at the chain. Okay so all we do all we do is let that off and your fence is strained up. Here's the last spot along this fence. We're gonna fix that and then we'll be right we'll be able to go home and have smoke -o. Well that's about it for this edition of Farming Live Australia. I thought it was smoko time and we'd come home and have a cup of tea but as it turned out it was lunch time so I came home and had a shower and washed the blood off me and the itchiness from the lantana. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope everybody out there stays safe and healthy. See you next time.